this is a ZTR you don't want that right there clutch cage or what they call in the business a clutch basket what it's used for is disassembling the clutch I've seen three different types this one which is over a hundred dollars there's also one by I can't think of the company but it's 150 and then you can buy the Honda one for 150 which they won't sell you they make it but they won't sell it to you so what we're going to do now is to take this yellow spring inside there and replace it with this yellow spring this one in here has lost its tension and therefore the clamshell is not opening it controls this clamshell pulley so the pulley is clamshell because it opens and closes like a clam okay under pressure with the belt you can see the belt right here and you notice how I put it where it says Polini on the outside and it also says Polini on the belt which you can't read that well it's really it's really hot out here it's over 105 degrees it's really cool I like it you know, as long as I'm not working in it I've taken my cat this cat's been driving me crazy I don't know what's wrong with her look just go do something yeah you I've taken the um, the nut loose with my um, 39 millimeter wrench you can also get a socket which costs a lot more money if you'd like and you can hook it up to a socket deal and, and get this loose once you get this loose all you have to do is just get it loose and we put it in the cage itself by unturning this unturning well, that's a good word by loosening this to where you can get the clutch in and then we tighten it up to where it compresses the spring against here after when after you get that to where it's going to do that then we turn around and just your finger you can take off the nut and there'll be nothing holding the clutch unit together and it's all remember it's all under spring tension right here okay so you want to be careful about that because it can explode and fly off and it, it, it can wreck your day if you're not careful so then what I do and I should be probably standing up it really kind of sucks because I promised my wife I wouldn't drink any more beer and, you know that's the problem with the wives is it they just don't understand high-performance racing bikes and beer I mean is it me I mean is it is it me fuck I don't think so but oh well then what I do is I'll get my trusty uh, what do they call it crescent wrench and of course it's not been fitted on here so I have to ad-lib for a while my hands are shot I'm going in for surgery here in August let me just start turning that and it, it'll turn pretty easily you can watch it turn now when you do something like this and you got it on camera and you want to say okay watch me turn the bolt you want to have the the bolt and your hand in the same shot in order to prove that you're actually turning it see and it gets easier as it starts to spread apart and you can watch as the uh, uh, now I'll do it with my hand again show your hand while you're doing this you're like this right, gives a lot more realism to it I guess come on there we go and you see the clutch starting to slowly come apart this part will disassociate itself from the clutch clamshell pulley from the clutch itself 
I'm gonna have to get an angle here to show you how that works. But this is a really good way of making videos. You want to get everything that your eye will 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 show in the shot if you can. Because if you just show this and go, look, I'm, oh, I'm turning it, I'm turning it, I'm turning it, but you don't show your hand doing it, it doesn't look right. So you just want to turn and talk at the same time, tell your audience what you're doing. And the, the clutch itself starts to, to uh, stay right here. And the inner race on the pulley starts to come apart. This ETR is a really good clutch cage, but I've got on the website and I don't believe they make the parts anymore. I don't think they have. I think the um, recession of 2008 just a lot of people just washed them out of business. I have to have surgery on my right and my left hands, so that's one reason I'm kind of slow at this. But you, you can see as it pulls apart. What it'll do is um, the the spring, the old spring, will fully decompress, and then this will just fall into the um, white towel there. And I have to change them once every about the spring, the, the yellow spring, about every 700 miles. 700. Ouch! Damn it hands hurt. I have trigger finger in four of my fingers and it's it's painful. It has to be surgically fucked with but you know that's what you get for being almost 60 and getting old. Getting old is not is not that fun. And there's a lot of uh, really good parts about it but a lot that aren't. Okay now we're as you can see this is coming right off. And now we've we can basically pick pick this up. See, just like that, and the whole thing falls apart. Now I'll show you the difference between a good spring and a bad spring. We're on the next video, so we don't want to have anything in in the way of to show you the difference between a good and a bad spring. This is the difference between a good and a bad spring. You can tell where the good the good spring has got a lot of tension. It's taller than the spring that is old and worn out. Once you go to do this and you take your bad spring out, this one, stop your video.